welcome back to snippet coder and we are back by another video and this video we are going to indicate infinite scrolling with getx starting the application we are getting the five record from the server once we go to the bottom of the screen we are getting a loader here and we are getting another set of five records and again we are getting another set of five records from the server so before starting the video if you are new to our channel subscribe the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos thank you So first of all we will modify our function.php file and here in the get latest post by category method we will add two parameters here and the first one is a paste and we are getting here value from the query string and the query string name is page underscore number and we are checking it if we having that value then we will get the value from the query string else by default we are showing here one then we have a second parameter that is post underscore per page and here we are getting from the query string request and the parameter name is page underscore size so now we will modify our config file and here in in the post viewer we will append one more parameter here that is page underscore size is equal to five per page we are getting here five record that's why we are passing here page underscore size is equal to 5 so now we will modify our ap underscore service store dot file and here we have one more parameter that is in type of page number and here we will create one variable that is url variable we will have config dot api url plus config dot post url and then we will have category id which we miss in our previous video then we will have and page underscore non number is equal to and here we will pass page number to string and here we will pass this url here so now we will modify our controller file and here we will create two variables First one is the in type of page number. By default, we are taking it as a zero. And then we have an in type of total records is equal to zero. And here we will pass page number. And here we will check if the post list dot length is equal to zero that means we are doing the first request to the server or page number is equal to zero then we will uh, start the loading is loading true and from here we will remove this code also we will add here post list dot clear and we will remove the code from here and here we will check if the post list dot length is less than total records then we will do that hit to the api so what we are doing here we are just checking if that post list dot length is equal to zero or the or that page number is equal to zero then we are just starting the loader here and also we are just clearing that list of post list and here we are checking if the post list dot length is less than zero that means uh, all the data is not loaded on the basis of the total record in that particular category then we will hit the api call and then we are checking here if the data is not null then we are just adding that data in our post list now we will modify our home page also and here we have to pass one variable here that is total records that we will create in our news page and here we will have model dot count 
so what this count is now this count tell us that how many total records in this category so we are just passing that count in our total records variable so now we will modify our news page and here we will create one variable in type of total records and here we are passing this dot total records and here we will create the scroll controller is equal to new of scroll controller then we have one more variable that is in type of underscore page is equal to one and here we will pass page number and we are passing here one then we have a total records here and we are fetching it from this dot visit dot total records so now here we will create the listener for that scroll controller and here we will add scroll controller dot add listener and we will make it as a async here and here we will check if underscore scroll controller dot position dot pixel is equal to underscore scroll controller dot position dot max scroll extend so here in the condition we will fetch our post from the api so what we are doing here we are just checking here if that user is at the bottom of the screen so that means the scrolling is done then we are just calling our fetch post uh, method and here we will have await type of post controller dot fetch post and here we will have page number and we are passing here plus plus underscore page we are just incrementing that page number then we have the total records here and we are fetching from this dot visit dot total records then we have the category id and we are picking from the this dot visit dot category id so now we will modify our list view so here we will add the controller here and we will pass here scroll controller and here we will add the piece of code that will uh, just show us that loader in the bottom when that uh, total number of records per set is loaded then we will get the loader here so once that data is loaded that loader will be automatically removed so here we have to put the condition here if index is equal to post controller dot post list dot length minus one and we are checking here if post controller dot post list dot length is less than this dot visit dot total records and then we will show here loader return enter and then we will have child here and the child we are passing a circular progress indicator so here we are getting the first set of five records and when we go to the bottom you can see here load is loading and we are getting the next five record and again we are getting the next five records and then we are getting the last five records so now let me show you in the that console also here i am just reloading the application so here you can see that first request has been gone to the server and we are getting here page number one page size we are sending as a five and category id we are sending as a one so now when we, i go to the bottom of the screen and here load is loading and we are getting page number two here and again we get the second request here and uh, you can ignore that uh, error message because that is coming because of that image and all so here also we are getting the third page so now if i go again to the bottom it will not go any request because all the data has been already loaded on the basis of that total records so here we are not getting any new requests so that's all in this video i hope you like the video so in the next video we will cover our news detail page so don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment share i will come back soon with another video thank you